look, I tell you guys a lot of things. One of those things, however, isn't involved with the whole... What I'll be doing in my video. So this video, straightforward, honest. And the tickets for this video are right over there. But after, by the time you see this, I'm not showing you those tickets. Why? Because this event is sold out, and I don't want anyone taking my tickets and getting in and pretending to be me. No. We are talking about NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. I've never done an NXT preview before. This is probably probably the biggest event in NXT history. I will be there live. We have amazing... We're basically a section off center, eighth row, which is basically a pretty good seats. I think it's like 107 or something like that. Yeah, 107 row eight, I think. But um, this match was just five, and it was starting at nine. They instead pushed it up to a 7 o'clock, 7.30 start time. So, essentially now this means I'm going to be in Brooklyn all day Saturday. Because 3 o'clock, maybe go back for like an hour. So back half an hour thing. Huh, play it by ear and see what goes on. Might just dump some stuff in Salt Lake. Who the hell knows what's going to happen Saturday. Saturday's going to be a bit of a clusterfuck day after we meet everyone. Um, but, let's get into matches right away. Um, first match I see here is Carmella versus Eva Marie. Um, I, cause I basically heard this isn't going to be a part of TakeOver, more or less, it's going to be taping for a future episode of NXT, kind of like, a, this is the Superstars portion, and Carmella versus Eva Marie, I'm going to go with, uh, Carmella, the simple fact that, hey, she used to dance with these guys right here, she did, <laughs> and as well, because I don't like Eva Marie, okay, right, Bull Dam Dempsey versus Elias Sampson, I don't even know who Elias Sampson is, so I'm going Bull Dempsey, like, I do watch NXT, but like, you want to see your names like that? It's kind of like, uh, who are you? Uh, hi, can I you introduce yourself to me? This next match makes absolutely no sense at all, and I feel like it's going to be turned into a tag match, which is Becky Lynch versus Charlotte versus Dana Brooke versus Emma, because I know Emma and Dana Brooke are a team, and um, clearly if you've been watching Raw, you know PCB. Um, that those that's, that's PCB, so I feel like this is going to be turned into a tag team match with Becky Lynch and Charlotte coming out on top. Next up, we got part of Carmelo. We got Enzo Amore, Colin Cassie, Zack Ryder, and Mojo Raleigh versus Jason Jordan, Chad Gable, Scott Dawson, and Dash Wilder. Enzo Cass and the Hype Bros are going to win this match. Why? Because you know how over that team will be, considering three of the four members are from New York. They're going to be, it's going to be, it's insane how over they will be Saturday night. And I will be there to witness it, and you just know that when they come out, that place is going to lose it. Everyone loves them, because everyone else is S-A-W-F-T. Soft. Right up next, we got, now we're getting into the takeover portion. First match we got here is Apollo Crews, Yuha versus Ty Dillinger. Perfect 10. Uh, perfect, I ain't winning this match, though. Paul, um, you seriously think they're going to make Apollo Crews hype him up that much to lose on his debut? Hell no. Ty Dillinger's just being thrown at him because they're like, all right, let's just... There you go, here's Ty Dillinger. Take with it what you will. Um, but no, uh, u is a guy, you can get a crowd hyped, he knows how to work, he knows how to perform. I'm just excited to see what this kid's going to do in the ring. This match now is what I am looking for to be one of my matches of the night. This is Baron Corbin versus Samoa Joe. If you ever think to see Samoa Joe in a WWE ring in a stage this big, I would have told you you're insane. The guy's staying at TNA. Guess what? He's here. We got him signed. He's doing his thing. And sorry for Baron Corbin, but Samoa Joe's going to kill you Saturday night in Brooklyn. Up next, we got Sasha Banks versus Bailey. This match right here. This potentially could take the cake for match of the night, honestly. It could. Because I know that these women want to work. These women know how to work. These women, unlike some of the divas, they can go out there. They get the crowd invested into what's going on in the ring. Not, okay, let's um, go pee. Or, yeah, let's, all right, let's go to the bathroom. No, it's uh, let's take a seat, watch for a minute, and see where we're going to go with this. So by that, that's what they're doing. They're going to see what they want, and they're going to go with it. This match, though, because Sasha's been called up to the main roster, I can already see Bailey winning, and Bailey going over in a crowd this big will be something I can see happening. Because if she wins, everyone's going, hey, Bailey, I'm here. I'll be there Saturday night. Come give me a hug. Just come run all the way up the aisle, and then, yeah. <laughs> Men can think big. Next up, we got uh, Team Bam, even though one of them doesn't even compete in this match, but she'll probably get involved, versus the Vaude Villains. 
the Vaude Villains are one of those teams that capture, they just know, like, Aiden English, Simon Gotch, it's, like, even in, the, like, some of those network interviews, how they stay in character, Aiden English has got a sophisticated savant look, you know, like, how his, like, the beret with the thing, like, that looks like a douchey actor guy, and then you got Simon Gotch, who looks like the old-timey guy, it just works, and, like, I'd honestly like to see Enzo and Cass going out for these titles, but then again, Blake and Murphy are looking like a dominant heel team right now, so if they can win, that would be great. But on the other hand, Blake and Murphy are big right now, and I can honestly see Blake. I'm just gonna pick it right now. I think Blake and Murphy are gonna retain with us. Also, because Bamp, I have that. I could lose my girl. Um, up next is the match that somewhat doesn't make sense, which is Juice and Thunder, Thunder Liger versus uh, Tyler Breeze. It's like 2000. It's like 1996 versus 2015. Um. Tyler Breeze has been taking cheap shots at Liger for the last few weeks on NXT, and Liger is going to win simply because, hey, if you make a guy lose in his debut, he's going to look pretty bad. That's all i got to say. I want to make this short and sweet, but then the review video, I want to go into more depth, or even if there's a review, it's probably going to be part of the day in the life. This match right here. This is a first for me. The first for seeing Finn Balor live. The first for seeing Finn Balor versus Kevin Owens live. And it's the first time I ever see a ladder match live at a show. You pull those two names in there, you throw the word ladder in there. It's like here. They've been given the tools to succeed. Go. Because you know they can use those ladders, those advantages. Kevin Owens, some people look at it, oh, he's just some big guy. <sighs> he doesn't do much. Go watch ROH again, you know, I'll prove you wrong. Like, some of his matches he had where he just absolutely can move. Like, Kevin Owens can move. This is the spotlight for him because he's got his match on Sunday. So he's got two back-to-back -back matches. This match right here, though, I'm I'm probably going to have, probably going to get my, think that could be match of the night. Hopefully it lives up to that expectation. Because I know these two go out there and do their jobs right. They're going to tear the roof off the Barclay Center. And, hell, I'll be a part of it to do it. And with that being said... Kevin Owens is going to go back up to his main mid-card spot on the roster. Finn Balor is going to retain. Because Kevin Owens winning the title back would just be plain stupid. Well, uh, Saturday should be a fun day. A lot of few people are meeting. Meeting, whoever wants. I'm doing my uh, meeting greet too with that uh, 9 o'clock in the morning New York subway. Come see me. Uh, but no, um, everything's set in stone now. Basically... I, my fight leaves in about 24 hours from the time I'm making this video, which is Thursday about 7 o'clock. Because uh, I got work tomorrow. And I can get, couldn't get it off. So then, with everything being said, let's go ahead, get this done. NXT take over Brooklyn. I'm ready. Hopefully you guys are. I will, you will see me. Oh, if you see me there, you see me there, come say hi. But, I know, I know you guys will be watching at home. If you're there live, I don't care. Let's just get this done, and I'll see you guys when I see you guys.